On the topic of taking multiple perspectives, like how, how, how might this serve us in a practical sense? So let's say we're in a, an example where we're in a meeting um, with our boss and this individual seems very angry. Um, they're uh, delegating tasks, telling the rest of us in the room what we need to do, and then they just storm out and slam the door behind them. Now, in any situation, say a situation like this, um, we have the opportunity to notice what's coming up for us. What perspective are we taking on the situation? One perspective we might take when somebody lashes out like that or is expressing anger is, oh my goodness, what have I done? Common place to go for a lot of people um, is, you know, how am I at fault? What have I done? How have I, what are my shortcomings? What, what are, where have I messed up? Now that's a perspective. Um, but if we get locked inside that perspective, we're limiting ourselves massively from developing a richer understanding of what is actually going on in this complex, multifaceted situation. Now, another perspective we might be able to take is, you know, gosh, somebody's having a bad day, right? May also be true. <laughs> it's another perspective to take. We're broadening, you know, maybe I'm not just at fault. Maybe there's something going on for that individual. Great. Um, we continue to play with this, you know, taking multiple perspectives like, um, gosh, you know, like um, what's going on in the wider context that, that might be creating this? Like what are the pressures that um, my boss feels under right now? Like how is this person being treated by, um, by their boss or, you know, the shareholders or, you know, um, what's, what else is going on in the market? Um, what are some of the other things that might be going on here? Um, how is my relationship with my peers? How are they making sense of the situation? Like as we step back, 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 or onto the balcony, <laughs> we often use that metaphor. If you step you know, off the dance floor in the field of action, up onto the balcony and take a broader perspective, you can start to see and get curious about like, hmm, what was my contribution to this? Was there something that, that I could have done differently that might have yielded a different result? What can I do now? What's going on for that other person? You know, might I want to reach out, have a conversation, ask some questions to better understand what's going on for them, what's what they're experiencing? Are there other people in the situation I might want to liaise with? It, those options start to open up. I would offer to, to anyone listening that, you know, notice, that's a practice you can, a developmental practice, you know, to notice, are you getting stuck in a particular narrative? Are you telling yourself, you know, rehashing the same story, the same perspective over and over again for yourself? whether it's the victim perspective or you know the the one who's at fault or whatever it might be whatever notice your default and challenge yourself to try to tell another story see another perspective what else might be going on here and if you can't see one if you can't come up with one on your own you know imagining yourself reach out and have a conversation